Hey guys, Motor Car Not Here, and today we're talking about, and I'm going to show you how to drain and refill a sealed for life automatic transmission, so to speak. The life part means the life of the warranty, not your vehicle ownership. So I'm going to show you how to do that because you want to protect your investment. And there is no miracle fluid in there. It's a regular transmission fluid, you know, recommended by Kia. But it ain't no $100,000 synthetic f fluid that's a magical fluid you never have to replace. Okay, especially if you do a lot of stop and go. Especially if you like, you know, you live in a mountains area, you're climbing mountains up and down, putting a little bit more stress on a transmission. You want to replace it every 60,000 miles. Okay, so this is a, a Kia. Um, Kia, Honda, Toyota, all the manufacturers, are, you know, they have little, little similarities. You just look in the uh, particular um, shop manual how to do it. But this is Kia, so we're doing a Kia today. Okay? First thing we're going to want to do, if the transmission is clean, if there's no leaks in here, there's no leaks on this, what you want to do is get yourself a nice clean pan, okay? And then you want to find the drain plug on the Kia model, so it happens to be right here. You unscrew it, let it drain, and whatever comes out, that's going to be a starting point. You're going to measure how much fluid that is, and you're going to put that exact amount back in, okay? So that, make, that makes sense. It makes it a lot easier. And when you take it off, there's going to be a magnet on the drain plug itself with all black stuff on it. That's going to be the, the clutch materials that the so-called so uh, uh, sealed for life um, is, is a bunch of malarkey. Okay, they're just, they're just making them cheaper so that you can't check it. They want you to bring it to the dealer or manufacturers. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not talking bad about any of them. It's just how things are today. All right, but anyway, this is the transmission fluid that came out of it. Very, very dirty. All right, I didn't check to see the bottom yet of all the particles that are going to be in there. But once you drain it all out, we're going to go to the top of the engine, and I'm going to show you what else to do right now. And I just wanted to... Uh, Say what models is it? This is for the Optima, Sorrento, Soul, Sportage, Sedona, Forte, Rio, Cadenza, um, pretty much from 11, 11 and up, 2011 and up, that have this six speed transmission. So this, this, uh, vehicle, this uh, engine transmission is in a lot of vehicles. Okay, so what we're gonna do is 10 millimeter here and here to take off the uh, fresh air intake snorkel so we can get down to the uh, fill plug. So you probably wanna take off the fill plug first before you drain the fluid, it's always good. I mean, it's a plastic one, but you never know, it can break off or whatever like that. So that's why it's good to watch the whole entire video before you tackle the project yourself. And what we got over here is the fill plug right here. And it has a little square like your, your your 3 8 um, extension or ratchet. That's what you do. You get it in there and you take it off. There should be a, an O ring in here. A little O ring in there. They want you to replace that O ring. It's up to you. I mean, it's a good idea. But if the, you know, because usually when you take an O ring off, you're supposed to replace it. So you want to probably get that before you uh, start this project. And that's where we're going to fill it in. Now, what we're going to do is put a funnel in here, and we're going to put out the ex we're going to put in the exact amount of transmission fluid that we took out. That's the perfect starting point, especially if it was from like that from the factory, and it was never touched. So that's probably the proper amount. You won't have to do anything. Now. Your particular transmission, it, even though it may be the same type, like I said, there are a little bit different similarities, a little bit more power on the on engines, or every, it could be a little bit different. They require different transmission fluid. So this particular car we're working on is a 2015 Optima Kia, Kia Optima, and it requires the Kia automatic transmission fluid, SP numeral four, so SP4 transmission fluid, all right? Again, your car may be different. So you fill up, you're gonna, we're gonna fill it up, and we're gonna fill it up, we took it out, we're gonna put the cap on, then I'm gonna show you what to do next. So I'm assuming that most of you guys don't have a scan tool because you're gonna to have to check the transmission temperature when the car is running. So if you don't have a scan tool, you can get, or if you have, an infrared thermometer like this, they're cheap, you can get them on Amazon, maybe 30 bucks, okay? You point it to something, and it's it gets it's pretty accurate. 
um, because the transmission fluid temperature is not exact. So it's, it, it's going to be from, let me see the specs over here. It's going to be from 60 to uh, 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, which is 122 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when you're going to want to check it. So that's a pretty, you know, a pretty wide um, spectrum. So you can use this. I'm going to show you where to use it. You're going to have to, because you probably don't have a lift, you're going to have to have this car jacked up even. It's going to have to be level. So you're going to have to put stands, not, not just a jack. Don't rely on the jack. You have to have jack stands. On all four corner, corners, the car level on solid concrete, okay? And it has to be uh, level. That's important. Okay, so now we're going to go underneath and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, now with the car running, what you're going to go, you're going to go inside the car, hold the brake, put the car from park to drive. Count five seconds. Put it back to park. Then do that again. From park to drive. Count five seconds. Put it in the park. Park, reverse. Five seconds, park. Park, reverse, five seconds. All right, do that, end up in uh, park, keep the car in park. Now, with the car idling, you're gonna get your infrared, or if you have a scan tool, you're just gonna look into the transmission data for the temperature, the transmission temperature. All right, but most of my folks don't have that, so you use this, and pretty much right in the center, like right, right around here is good enough. You put this, all right, and you read it, okay? Once it gets, like I said, uh, for you European guys, from 50 to 60 Celsius, or from 122 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's say you're at like 130, that's good to check it. What you're gonna do, you're gonna use your regular uh, 3.8 ratchet, again, with the square drive over here. You're gonna put it in here. Like this and we're gonna turn it now the engine's running now my engine's not running but this demonstration purposes you're gonna take it out and now you should see a thin stream of a uh, transmission fluid coming out if you don't see nothing like this it's not full enough you got to add, add another half uh, I would say another half a liter half a quart and then repeat the procedure with the uh, transmission putting it in gear and then you come back to here and take this off again and it should be a nice little thin stream coming out, that's fine. If it's pouring out like, you know, really a thick, thick uh, pour, then you have to have something to catch it. It's a good idea to have something to catch it as it is and make sure um, and wait until it slows down. It has to slow down to a stream. Then you put it back on, okay, and you check your temperature, make sure your temperature's still in that range, clean it up, Open it again and see if you have like a thin stream. It's going to be a little thin stream. That thin stream means that's it. It's perfect. It's level and that's it. You put this back. All right. And you tighten it up. Be careful. Everything over here is plastic. Hey, it goes into like a little, you can feel like a little divot. And that's it. Clean it, put a little uh, carburetor cleaner, so, you know, so it's nice and clean so you can see if there's any leaks. And that's it. And that's how you replace non-replaceable transmission fluid in your vehicle and save you money instead of having, having it fail and trying to fight with a dealership that's going to cost you thousands of dollars. Motor car nuts looking out for you guys. All right? Any questions, please subscribe. Hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I answer all my questions. I try to pertain to the video. And I would appreciate a super thanks if I'm helping you save money. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you really much for watching.